Welcome back. In the last two lessons, we learned about the properties of mRNA that make it possible to be used as a medicine. Importantly, mRNA medicines enable the human body to make its own medicinal proteins by tapping into the natural process of protein production. In this lesson, we'll learn about the challenges that had to be overcome to realize this potential. Please take a moment to review the learning objectives for this lesson. First, let's watch a video about how mRNA is made outside the body. The first challenge to overcome was making mRNA outside the body. Remember, in our bodies, mRNA is copied or transcribed from DNA in the nucleus of our cells. Making mRNA medicines, however, requires a DNA template outside of cells. This is accomplished by inserting a specially coded piece of DNA into bacteria, allowing these bacteria to reproduce and make many more copies of that DNA, and then carefully isolating and purifying the amplified DNA. From here, the process to synthesize mRNA molecules is purely biochemical, that is, cell-free. The DNA template is first cut with special molecular scissors to linearize it. This linear DNA is then incubated with nucleotides and a special RNA polymerase called T7 RNA polymerase. The polymerase strings together the nucleotides in the correct order to produce the mRNA. This reaction can be carried out on many different scales, from a very small amount for research purposes, to enough for one patient for a personalized medicine, to enough for tens or hundreds of patients to treat a rare disease, or on an incredibly large scale to make tens of millions of mRNA vaccine doses in a single batch. Once the mRNA has been purified, it goes through multiple quality control steps to ensure that the batch no longer contains any DNA or any leftover reaction materials, and that the mRNA itself is intact. Next comes formulation. Because our bodies impose multiple biological barriers that prevent it from staying intact until it reaches the target tissue, mRNA cannot be dosed as a medicine on its own. It is not currently possible to take an mRNA medicine by mouth because it will be seen as food and be immediately broken down and recycled. Instead, most mRNA medicines are injected into a muscle if it's a vaccine or intravenously, that is IV, if it's a therapeutic. Other mRNA medicines are being developed that go straight to the nasal passages or lungs through an inhaler, and still more are in development to be applied directly to the skin. Within our own bodies, mRNA doesn't normally exist outside of cells. When naked mRNA appears in the bloodstream or lymphatic system, our bodies assume it's either debris from dead cells or evidence of infection by an RNA-based virus. Our biological fluids are full of custodial proteins that clean up dead cells and defend us against viral infections, and they rapidly destroy naked RNA. Further, since mRNA is normally made within the cells that need it, the molecule contains no wayfinders for where in the body to go. Therefore, mRNA alone has no means for tissue or cell selectivity. Finally, even if it was able to survive and find the desired cells, it would have no way to cross the cell membrane to get inside. Remember that mRNAs are highly negatively charged, so cannot easily cross cell membranes. For all of these reasons, mRNA medicines require a delivery vehicle, some sort of packaging material that serves three purposes. First, to protect it from degradation. Second, to direct it to the desired tissue and cell type and third, to help it gain entry into the cell cytoplasm.